Hi, my name is Tim. I'm a flooring and stair contractor, and today we're out at one of my client's homes who has some damaged laminate flooring. It's water damaged laminate. It's actually peed on laminate. Don't worry, it's not from the client though. It's from her little pet. And today I'm going to show you how to fix this whole floor using a saw one time. For the removal, the reinstallation, we're going to use a saw one. We're going to make one cut. That's the trick. Today on Jones Knows. It's so beautiful. You and me. Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. So here is the damaged laminate. You notice you can see it better when you look across the floor. So the first thing we're gonna do is mark these boards so there's no confusion. That that one. The one next to it. No, no, the other way. That one. Yep. Okay, now go the towards you. That one, and then the one Turn around towards the slider. The bad one is right there. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to show you how we remove the floor. Now this is completely dustless. Back in the day when laminate used to be glued together, we used to have to cut it out. But I've developed a technique here to remove it without any saws. You notice we open it up with a chisel and pry bar and just wiggle the board out. And once we get that first board out, by kicking, malleting, pulling, whatever it takes, it's pretty easy from there. The nice thing about these click lock laminate floors, they're really easy to manipulate. You can slide them, you can use the chisel technique here where he hammers a chisel in and then hits it with a mallet. The mallet is a really easy way to get it out, but once you got the end joint open, you see, you can just pull it. And since we didn't use a skill saw, there's no dust to clean up. Now it's time to put the boards back. As you can see, it's just the opposite of how we took them out. We slide them in. He loves to use the mallet. That helps to really engage the locking system. And once that long joint is in, you can then kick, slide, pull, whatever you need to do to get them in. There's really no wrong or right way. It's just whatever works easiest for you. Now, I, one thing I don't like to use is a tapping block on a lot of these edges when you have to hit them really hard because you can damage the edge. Now, this is the one tricky part on the last, second to last board, we should say. He has to actually angle this board in to get past that last tongue where his hand is holding onto the board. But once we clear that, that end joint, then it's just like a regular board, we put it in. And this will bring us to our last board and the first time today that we'll have to use a saw. We're down to the final board, and on this one, we're gonna cut off one side of the locking system. I'm gonna set that blade no higher than the tongue. We don't want it to cut it to the top layer. That blade just cuts that bottom tongue. We just wanna cut the big tongue off. Not taking anything off the floor itself. That looks like enough. It looks like pretty good there. As we cut the big tongue off, we make sure we cut far enough back from the outside of the board so we actually create like a shelf for the next board that we put the glue onto to sit on. As you can see when he cleans it off with his knife here, it's a nice flat area we can glue to. Got the tight bond. Did you open up the ends already? Yeah. All right. we, spread, we spread the end joints out so it can just go in. Does it drop in everywhere? Now it just drops into place. We'll glue it and then we'll close the ends. Nice bead of glue. Put the board in just like you would install a regular board. Like that, and now you just push it right into the glue. The ends will hold it in place. Hey, uh, ma'am? Um, the last board we glued to the board next to it on one side, okay. so we have to just leave weight on this for a week. What do you have for, you don't have any free weights or anything, do you? I actually do. Oh, Tristan, Perfect. give her a hand. I put that board of laminate there to distribute the weight a little bit. You see how I see how I have the edge of the board showing? Mm -hmm. You can actually feel it, and as long as it feels flush, then we know it's setting properly. Wow, we're done, and the real trick there was, I didn't use my hands at all. 
That was my son Tristan doing all the work. I taught him everything he knows. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out all of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install floors, repair floors, staircases, and much, much more. But we could use your help. Please like, share, tell your friends and family, and of course, if you already haven't, take out your favorite floor mount and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching.